Hey everybody, good morning. Good afternoon. It's afternoon. It's Sunday, so it doesn't matter. Um, I was having motivational issues this morning, having trouble getting going, trying to figure out what to do. And this canvas here has got some damage to it. And um, so I'm going to redo it. And um, I was having trouble thinking of colors to use. And yes, that happens to me. Um, I think anybody that tells you it doesn't is lying. Um, we all have inspirational uh, uh, deficits from time to time. Um, I don't care how good an artist you are, you aren't always inspired. You know, it sometimes takes a little while to get going or to think of what you want to do. Or I find myself in a position a lot of times where I want to do something. I always want to do something. But there are times when I'm not sure what kind of painting I want to do or if I want to do stained glass or, you know, what. And then if I decide on that, okay, I want to do a painting, what kind of painting do I want to do? And then what colors do I want to use? And what mix do I want to use? And all these choices that come in. And um, I'm sometimes ambivalent and I have a hard time deciding. And uh, I think it has to do with... I think it's just normal, really. I think probably all artists are that way if they're really honest about it. I think we all have times when nothing just jumps out at you. And um, I don't always have an idea in my head for something I want to do. But usually, if you know, I'll just give it some time. That's what it takes. And then something will percolate. And I'll sometimes I just come in here and look at my paints and I'll think of colors I want to use or what I want to do or whatever but that's a really frustrating feeling to really feel like you want to paint something or or make something and you don't really know what you want to do and you know it's very frustrating and I really don't like feeling like that and the best cure for it like I said first of all is time and if that doesn't fix it then I'll just start doing something just come in there and start looking at the paints and figuring out colors that look good together or just you know, if I can start doing some part of it, go out there and work on the backs of some of those, you know, which is the thing I hate the most, but which is why I'm doing this painting right now is to motivate myself to go out there and do that, um, which is another technique I use. And since I hate doing that, I, I decide that if I get motivated in that direction by doing a painting, then I'll feel more like going out there. And I know the reason I'm having trouble being motivated to paint right now is because I know I got all that shit stacked up out there that needs the backs done. And so I'm thinking, why are you creating more that you're gonna have to do this to and see that little loop going on in my mind. Y'all see how crazy I am? I mean, it's hard to be me. Um, I don't know what to do about it. I just, um, I just figure if I get started doing something, then that gets the ball rolling and usually that'll get me out of my gulch. But I've been in the gulch this morning. And so I figured I'd do this pour. This has got black in it. It's got 24 karat gold in it. It's got lake blue, uh, viridian, and one of the blues from my mystery collection. The uh, I think it's um, uh, U.S. Art Supply. Um, there is the brand, but I there are I don't know that there's names on those paints. I can't read them if they're there. My vision has gotten so bad and. So anyway, this um, this almost purplish color that's coming out of there um, is one of theirs. And uh, so I thought, I wanted to do some blues and black and gold. That's what I eventually um, got to thinking. And um, that was my plan. So um, that was as far as I got with it. Um, I didn't wake up on some inspirational high, knowing exactly what I wanted to do, and I don't usually wake up like that. However, there are times when I think of something during the night, or I have a dream, or something like that, and I wake up with colors in my mind that I want to try. That does happen, but, you know, not every day. Um, you know, inspiration is a fickle friend. Um, it's there sometimes and not there sometimes and um, I just think that's the truth about the matter and uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth as I know it as I see it as I feel it you know no sense getting on here to bullshit people um, 
I've been looking at YouTube and um, trying to see how my videos are doing and I shouldn't do that because then I get frustrated. And that, that could be the source for most of this negativity this morning. Um, I just shouldn't do that. Look at it because I get irritated that I don't see more of, I don't, uh, I don't see my stuff more where I want it to be. And um, I know things are doing a lot better and um, y'all have been helping me out so much. I don't mean to seem ungrateful because I am grateful, totally grateful to y'all. I'm frustrated with YouTube, but I'm grateful to y'all. And, um, you know, it just takes a lot of time, uh, I think. And um, that's where I'm at, is I, I don't do good with waiting. I'm not a good waiter. I get impatient, frustrated, and, um, you know, it's just is the way it is. This turned out to be kind of interesting, y'all. Um, let me pour a little bit of this paint off. Don't want it to craze. Ooh, that's really pretty over there. I like that. Let's torch it again. This stuff over in here, really cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a negative Nancy for you. Um, I'm not, in general. But you know, um, I, I, I suffer from depression. I take medication. It's controlled most of the time. But sometimes I have these little breakthroughs where I kind of feel like, and I don't know if everybody feels that way or not, you know, where I sometimes feel like, why are you bothering with that? You know, why, why bother? You know, nobody cares. You know, that kind of really bad, really bad thinking. And I stop myself and I say, now, wait a minute, that's not true. I don't know if that's depression talking. I don't know if that's because of something else that's going on, like being frustrated with YouTube. I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to listen to that voice in my head that says that because I'm just not going to think that way. But I think it's partly controlled by depression. It just is a voice in your head that, that wants to bring you down, you know, and the medication will only control things so much. You know, I had a doctor one time tell me, you know, there's a ton of people that suffer from this and medication will take you a long way, but the other part of it is your own self-thinking and self-talking, how you speak to yourself. And that's part of it. You can't let that kind of negative self-talk get rooted in your head. Y'all are going to think I'm a total nut job. Um, no, I just like to give it a voice because... There's a lot of people that suffer with this, and there's no reason to suffer in silence. There's no reason to be ashamed. It's a medical condition, just like diabetes or heart disease or, you know, I'm a nurse. This is just um, like having something like that, and I'm not going to sit around and act like there's something wrong with me. Um, you know, like I'm a weak person or I'm a flawed person or something like that because I suffer from this, and that's why I don't mind talking about it to y'all. Um, people should talk about it. If you have it and you're untreated, um, you should talk to somebody because life can be better. Um, but that's what I was talking about, that self-talk. That's my little part I have to do is not let that kind of stuff get going, you know, and try to always be grateful and, and have a positive attitude. And like it or not, admit it or not, that's a choice. You know, I can wake up and choose how I want to feel. And I just this morning was letting this all get my goat. And sometimes just getting on here and saying it out loud to y'all makes it all better, you know. And now I'm fine. And I can go on and just do what I do. But art helps. Here's one that's dried from yesterday. And this is another one I really like that is dried from yesterday. Um, art really helps me a lot. Um, but I, I just encourage anybody that has this condition to talk about it with somebody. You don't necessarily have to talk about it on YouTube. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> Thanks, y'all, for listening. Thanks for being there. Y'all are my friends. I don't, uh, I don't have anything to hide. I think I like this one. Um, I hope y'all like it. I think it turned out pretty. Let's look up close. Look at that 24 carat in there. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's nice.
See how I feel better already. Just looking at something beautiful makes me feel better. There's all kinds of ways to make yourself feel better. You don't have to feel bad. I used to think you had to feel bad. I used to think there wasn't any way to feel better. And that's just not true. The world is a beautiful place. And if you're open to it, you can see it. And if you don't want to live like that, you don't have to. All right. Yeah. We all wake up in a funk every now and then. I'm out of my funk now. Thank y'all. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Uh, it does me so much good to be able to share this with y'all. Uh, even if there's only five of y'all out there that look, I don't care. I'm happy with my five. <laughs> Thanks for being here, you guys. I appreciate you so much. It means everything that y'all are here and that you support me. And um, that's all I need. It really is. Um, and I will go on with the rest of my day. And y'all do the same. I'll make some more videos. And um, it's beautiful outside. The birds are singing. We go on and have a happy day. Um, I appreciate you being here. I'll say it again. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.